Hello, welcome back. I hope you're sitting or standing or kneeling or squatting comfortably because this is Ben and Berlin German Beer Series Episode 9. Alright, how's it going? Alright, how's it going? Alright, how's it going? Uh, Alright, how's it going? 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 Alright, uh, how's it going? So, yes, welcome to episode Eight. 9 in the Ben and Berlin German Beers series. Uh, I hope you're well. This week we're going to be tasting three German beers. The first beer is Schultheis. The second beer is Bastiner Rattler. The third beer needs to be summoned. So, here it comes. It's Dutchsteiner Rotblond Original. Let's get stuck into beer number one. Guys, beer number one is this uh, Schutheis Pilsner. With this chap on the, uh, the front is going, Cheers! And cheers to you, chap. Cheers to you back home. And to you, and to you, and to everyone here in the live audience. Cheers! Smells like a Pilsner. Tastes like a Pilsner. So, Schutheis. Quite a cheap beer, and that's a blah 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 it's actually quite a refreshing beer. Um, I drank I drank it a few times, you know, in Berlin, uh, in the uh, in the sunshine. Oh, weather update. Um, uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, the weather outside is currently mild overcloud and uh, rays of sunshine coming through those clouds. Back to you in the studio, Ben in Berlin, and uh, <laughs> and. Um, what was I saying? Uh, by the 1850s, um, the name uh, Schutheis was uh, given to the beer. In medieval Germany, the Schutheis was the head of the municipality, so like the uh, the mayor of today. And so I'm presuming this um, this chap here with the huge uh, stein of beer, big chunk of beer, he's probably that uh, that mayor. When this was um, become a short house in the 1850s, it became the most successful brewery in Berlin. For those who know Berlin, the brewery was at the Culture Brewery uh, on Schönhausallee in Prenzlauerberg, um, which is now an area for, um, for culture. There are theatres, museums, bars and restaurants, but that was the big brewery of, uh, of these guys. In 1913, that was actually the largest brewery in the world, but then the First World War had an impact. And then the Second World War, of course, had an impact as well. But this is um, a beer sign you'll see throughout, uh, especially throughout Berlin. Often, um, the old-fashioned signs you'll find in the uh, in, in the pubs, such as in the bars, uh, you'll see this chap you know, holding a big, big shine of beer on the electric sign in the window. Once you're in the bar, he'll be in there as well, not in human-like form, but on the sign. Give this a score. I'm going to give uh, Schultheis Pilsner. Uh, a six out of ten. Let's clear the uh, the, the palette. We've gone back to the old jar of various um, nuts and raisins and all sorts of delicious treats, and this is just to cleanse the palate. This is the uh, Bachsteiner Rattler. So a Rattler is uh, is what they call a Shandy in the UK or in the northern part of Germany in Alster. Um, it's fifty percent um, lemonade and fifty percent um, lager beer, Pilsner, 
Um, this particular one though is um, alcohol free, 0.0%. It's um, lemon, lemony, a uh, lemony smell, of course, and this particular one, it's like a very um, sharp lemonade taste. So picture um, a very fizzy carbonated lemonade um, with a slight alcoholic taste. This one, I haven't tried this before. It's not point one percent alcohol. You certainly don't think you're tasting a Rattler. And, or, sorry, you certainly don't think you're tasting a beer. And it's um, it's quite weak in terms of a Rattler taste. Bastian and Brewery, which we have covered before in this German beer series, it does date back to the uh, the 1700s. It's a chap called Antonius Kramer. The family actually is still in charge of the brewery today. By 1927, they had discovered the Kaiser Spring, and the water hardness of the spring was only two degrees. So it was particularly suitable for brewing beer. Very refreshing. It'll be lovely after a cycle ride. And there's a connection there, team, because um, Rattler is cycle. And so the name comes from uh, Rattler Mass, which was the cyclist leader. Innkeeper down uh, near Munchen, he um, had his, his inn, his pub, if you like, on a famous cycling route. And during the Roaring Twenties, there was a huge uh, cyclist boom. Back then, he, um, he, he had his inn, and uh, they would have the cycle, and they'd stop for a beer. And what he actually found was that he was running very low on beer. And so he started to mix 50% beer with 50% lemonade and create this uh, this Rattler or the Shandy or this Ulster. And it was a very um, popular drink and stuck around ever since then. I mean, that is mostly myth and storytelling, um, but it's it's pretty viable as a story, isn't it? And it's a really refreshing beer, but it's a very tasty uh, Rattler, this Fashtana. Uh, rather, 0.0% alcohol, and um, I could imagine drinking this after a long cycle ride. It's the first rattle we've done actually, and it's very tasty. And so, for those um, combined reasons, we're going to go for a 7 out of 10. Clear the palate, clear the palate, clear the palate, clear the palate. It's our third beer, the uh, Dutchstein uh, Rockwand Original. And just before I open this, you can see it has this seal. And the year, 1640. And that's the first documented uh, mention of this beer, 1640. And also, just below um, the seal, can you see that in the glass, the, the, the D here, the Dutchstein, this emblem. And that's the vouch for quality. So look at that, um, that colour gang, red, rod blonde, red blonde. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm quite excited about this beer because there's a hint of something sweet uh, in the smell. Can you, can you guess what that might be? Um, but let's see if we can taste it. Okay, we can, <laughs> wow, we can really taste it. Caramel. Um, Really, really lingered. It's like um, it's like you've just eaten a caramel chocolate bar of just caramel. It's it's really um, um, it's not too sweet. It's not overpowering. But I haven't tried many beers that have that strong caramel flavour. So the Rock Blonde Original is a top fermented beer, and it has this soft caramel-like taste. And that's because of a special crystal malt they use uh, when brewing this uh, this Rock Blonde Original. But the name is quite unusual, isn't it? Duckstein, where's that from? And basically, where is this from? There's an Elm uh, mountain range, and the uh, the ground there is called Duckstein, so that's where it came from. It was originally called, I think, Luther's Beer, and its name gradually changed. There was Tuchstein, as a Toothstein as well, and that's where the, um, the name comes from. I'm just distracted because a very big um, wood pigeon has landed on the balcony outside the window, and he's looking at Duckstein. Uh, it's not a real duck, it's not gonna, it's not gonna quack. So, um, I'm talking to a pigeon. In 1713, this was considered a favorite beer of the, uh, the Prussian king, Friedrich Wilhelm I, or Frederick Wilhelm, uh, Frederick w William I, uh, depending on what, uh, what history books you're reading. Um, and they used to drink this in his tobacco college. And tobacco colleges were these places where um, usually men would socialize 
and snug tobacco. Bit of a unique beer. And I really haven't tasted many like it before. Um, and maybe we'll taste some more in this German beer series, who knows. Um, I'm gonna give the Dutchstein Rob Blond original a big fat eight out of 10. So that means that the first beer, the Schultheist Pilsner, was six out of 10. The Bachsteiner Rattler, uh, zero alcohol, was seven out of 10, I think. And the Dutchstein Rock Blonde original was eight out of 10, which means that our winner for this week's Wood Pigeon has just blown away. For this week's, um, he's seen the end, doesn't care, wanted the Bachsteiner to win, is the uh, Dutchstein Rock Blonde original with eight out of 10. Yes, I hope you guys are well back there in Homeland and you're plowing through in the best of your abilities. I hope this video brings a little smile to your face. Stay strong, uh, stay safe, drink beer, and I'll see you very, 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 very soon. All the best, lots of love. Tschüss. Mwah. If you have liked this video, please do uh, like it. Let me know what beers you uh, have enjoyed watching. Make a comment. I'd like to read them. I did a fan. Um, I did a fan. I keep saying fan. A fan is a recycling charge for beer bottles here. And uh, I think it's muddling my mind um, more so than usual. Um, but yeah, I do fan fan request. Jesus. And um, if you want to make a fan a fan request, uh, yeah, write me a comment and let's see what we can do. But yeah, spread the word. Stay safe. Drink beer. Mwah.